How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to use the Notes app for real. And yes, I know everyone uses the Notes app, it's one of the most popular apps on the iPhone, but as you'll see in this video, there are so many hidden features and incredible tools that the Notes app has that we genuinely don't take advantage of. And this will give you so much more productivity and you'll see how powerful the Notes app really is. So. Without further ado, let's get started. So we generally use the Notes app just like that. We go ahead, we open it up, and we have this page with all of our notes, and we just take a look at the notes, create new ones, look for them, and that's pretty much how most people use. But you can actually customize it and organize it so much better. If we actually come back here to our folders, we can manually create some amazing folders and even some smart and automatic ones. Let me show you. So as you tap here on the plus folder at the bottom left corner, it's really tiny, actually, you can create any new folder with any name. For example, you can set one for work and then done. And as you can see right here, we have a work folder for your notes. And then you can simply go ahead here, tap on your notes, and then you can easily select the notes that are related to your work in this example. So tap on the three dots and then select notes and then tap on the ones, these ones, for example, move and then work as you can see as easy as that and of course you can do the same thing for personal and then you can easily organize and separate and trust me this is so so much better when you have a ton of notes so done once again and then you can do the exact same thing here by going to your notes selecting other ones so for example this and this and then move and then move to your personal and then you're pretty much done as you can see three here two there and i don't know if you saw but if we tap on plus once again we have smart folders and i'm going to talk about that in a second because it's going to be easier to understand later on once you see everything the notes app has to give okay so i'm going to cancel and show you in a second and as you can see they're super organized you tap on all your notes and then you can see here work the ones that are just notes so they have no specific folder and of course personal as well so as you can see right here super organized now let's talk about a feature that not everyone uses and it's so amazing I use it every single day so it's called quick notes and all you have to do is go to your settings and then you're gonna scroll down and tap on control center and then scroll down once again and tap here on quick note you add here to your control center so you always have access to your quick notes and the way this works is super cool let's say you are on the go you're working running you're doing whatever you do studying and then you want to write something down real quick and instead of actually going and exiting your app and looking for your notes and so on you can easily get right here on our control center your shortcut for your quick note and you can do this anywhere on your on your iphone as you can imagine so even if you are within any other app you can go ahead here pull down on the control center tap here on your quick note and then it's going to pop up so it's not going to actually exit the app you're in or anything like that and you can say for example here hi right you can tap on save and that's it it goes away and then in a few seconds as you can see you can write down anything that you want and as you go ahead and open up your notes it's right here on all your notes as you can see and it's also categorized right here on your quick notes so it's interesting because it's an easy fast way to find your quick notes that you know that they are important and you needed to write it down on the go as i said so super cool little feature as well and since we're talking about productivity right i don't know if you know but if you have a pro max iphone or a plus like the 14 plus if you actually go ahead and move your iphone to landscape mode you can see your notes like that so you can easily see like columns just like you see on finder on your mac for example so you tap here on our categories and you can see here in other column you tap on it and then you go ahead to your folders this is a very nice way to organize and see all your notes here on your iphone and i know some of you will say yeah but on smaller iphones you also have have that but not really so let me get here my iPhone 14 Pro it's smaller of course and then if you tap on your notes and you go to 
to landscape, you do have this landscape view, but it's just gonna show you one screen as you can see right here. So you tap on notes, it goes to the next screen and so on. So you don't actually have this column view, which is really, really nice. And since I'm here with this iPhone, let me show you another feature that I really, really love that has to do with shared notes, as you can see. So for example, if I go ahead here and tap and create a new note, let me show you right there something that I love and I know a lot of people don't use, which is the ability to collaborate, to collab on a note. This is so, so nice. So for example, let me go ahead here and tap test. Okay, that's right here. And then if I tap on the share button, as you can see, I have this share sheet right here in which I can choose how to share this note. I can either tap here and send copy, and this option will just literally send a copy of this note to the other person and they'll see it, they'll keep it on their iPhone, but that's it, it's just a dumb copy. But if you tap here on collaborate, you can literally work together with another person on this very same note. And Naturally, they will have to have an Apple device in order to do this, okay? And then after you send this invitation via airdrop messages, WhatsApp or whatever, and they actually allow it, they accept it, then you have the same note. You're gonna be working on this note together, just like a document, for example, on Google Drive that we use a lot. So then as I type something here, the other person will get it on their iPhone in real time and we'll be able to edit this note that will be synced between our two devices. This is so, so cool. As you can see, I have a few right here, shared notes right there that I use with my girlfriend, for example, that we have shared notes of grocery shopping, of stuff we have to do in the house and fix. So then we always collaborate on those things. It's super, super nice. Now let's talk about another feature here in the Notes app that many, many people still don't use. So if you tap on any note right here and you tap on the three dots, you have the lock feature. And as you can imagine, lock is simply passcode lock or face ID or both any of your notes. And this is super important for security and you see how it works. So as you tap on lock right here, you're gonna actually create a password, okay, for this specific note. You're not really locking the whole notes app, just specific notes. And I'm gonna show you how you can do this manually, okay? So you can create a password and you have the possibility of choosing a specific password just for the notes app or using your lock screen passcode to unlock your notes. I generally recommend you use a secondary password just to make it super safe. So then you can tap here, for example, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And of course, I don't recommend you to use one, two, three, of course. And then you can set a hint, which is super recommended as well. Tap on done. The first time it'll say it's strongly recommended, but I don't have to set one, but I do recommend myself. And then done. And as you can see right here, now you have a lock. Once the lock is opened, it's opened. So you can go ahead, exit, come back, you can see it. You see the little icon right there as well. And if you wanna lock it manually, tap here, it's locked as you can see, so it's fully locked. And of course, you can set this lock, you can manually lock any notes that you want by doing the same process, tap here, tap there, lock. And as you can see, it's gonna use Face ID to authenticate or of course, your manual password that you created. And then you have the same thing. So I have two locked notes that at this moment are unlocked and if I want to lock them I can simply tap on this little icon right here lock now and it's gonna lock everything up so then that's how you securely lock your notes on top of that you can also pin your notes so for example let's say this note is super important to me I can slide to the right tap on it and then it's always gonna be pinned at the top you can pin multiple notes if you want to so this is very very good because no matter what is updated here in the bottom this one will always stay on the top so very very important moving on i don't know if you know this but we have tags that's right hashtags on notes so if you tap any tag right here for example hashtag uh, game okay this is going to be completely random but okay it's a hashtag and then tap on done it's a very nice way to categorize and create this kind of filter on your notes so then you can set tags hashtags for one or multiple notes and you can easily find them later so this is very very cool and i'm going to show you how it works the searching in a second right on top of that on top of the hashtag 
bag, we have something called scan documents, right? And scanning documents is a very important part of today's lives. And many people on their iPhones, they go ahead, they open the App Store, and they download third-party apps to scan documents, which, honestly, is completely unnecessary because you can do it straight from the Notes app. All you have to do is create a new note or use any of your notes. I'm going to name this one YouTube uh, Doc. And you'll see why. And then all you have to do is tap here on the three dots and then scan. So what I'm gonna actually scan is this document right here, which is actually a congratulations letter for reaching 100,000 subscribers, okay? And then I'm gonna tap on scan and then it's gonna open up this interface and all I have to do is just point my iPhone it's gonna be a little bit off uh, frame, but it's all automatic. And as I tap here, it has done the scanning, as you can see right there. It's all automatic, it's super fast, and it's super effective. And then, uh, if it's okay for you, you're done. Of course, you can readjust, apply filters, rotate, do anything that you want, but as you tap on done right there, you can simply tap on save, and then the document is saved right here in full quality. Take a look at this. As I tap on it, take a look at the quality. It's absolutely incredible, and as you saw, it took like two seconds. You just lift it up, it scans, it's amazing, right? And of course, it's all searchable as well, and this is quite impressive, actually. So as you can see, I have this document document right here. It's not only scanned, but the iPhone has actually uh, transcribed all of the letters, everything here in this, in this document, and I can easily search it in the future. Let me show you how it works. So if I come back here, for example, and I go to my search, and I search for any single letter that's on that document, it's gonna find it. And uh, so for example, I know it says congratulations on the document, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead here and search for congratulations, it's right here. So as you can see, YouTube doc, top hits, it found it. As you can see, it got even the, the text that it says congratulations if you tap on it it's right here congratulations so it picked it up and it's all automatic I didn't set absolutely anything and since we're here on the document you can also share it as well so you can tap for example here on the share button and you can easily share it to your files uh, social media airdrop absolutely anything so it's a really nice way to organize all your scan documents and this is a PDF file okay all automatic and since we're talking about automatic stuff and smart stuff, let's go back and talk about that smart folder, remember? So if we tap on the plus icon right here, we can create a smart folder. So if we tap there, as you can see, you can choose the filters that you want to be in this smart folder. So for example, if I wanna have a folder with some specific tags, and that's why I mentioned tags a few seconds ago, right? And or date of creation, or that has attachments or folders or checklists, so that I can create this, I can customize this smart folder to show me absolutely some specific filters and some specific variables that I want. So this is super nice as well if you're really a pro user of the Notes app and you have like hundreds of folders, this could be super useful, especially for work and stuff as well so I really really like smart folders too and of course we have our typical tools of the notes app and I'm gonna go through them very quickly because we are more familiar with them like for example the possibility to add tables so very nice if you like spreadsheets for example and you can set here and organize and have some text for example if you want to organize a party and then you can have uh, let's say drinks on one side foods on the other and then go ahead and keep going and you add here like water and then uh, keep going and of course you can easily tap here and add a roll and do your typical like spreadsheet table work but if you want to do something simple that you don't want to open up excel for example you can go ahead and open up straight from here and of course it doesn't end here you have for example your checks this is super cool for grocery shopping as well so you set here like same store like water and you can move on and let's say you have to buy like juice and you have to buy bread and you keep going right and then as you mark them they'll uh, readjust the order so then you go to the bottom of the list this is super cool as well i really really use uh the checklist the checks all the time so i really like it as well and of course we have all of the usual stuff so for example you can uh format your text 
So if you say here, test, and then here tap on AA, this little AA, you can format it. So you can make it larger, smaller, bold, not bold. You can do go ahead and do everything that you would like. This will make your notes much more organized, easier to see, and easier to understand as well. Not like mine, because this is super disorganized, but you got the idea. And of course, on this bar, you can also uh, take a photo straight from here. You can also scan text straight from the bar as well and add any of our drawings, your favorite drawings or anything. So your typical bar on your notes. And just a little tip, if you don't like this bar, you could just close it and then you have this plus right there that you don't have to have seen all this bar all the time. You can choose to see it or to hide it. And that's pretty much it. That's how you actually use the Notes app. That's how you use Notes for real. Thank you so much for staying until the end. I know this is a pretty long video and trust me, that's not all. There's even more to talk about in the Notes app, but I decided to cut short a little bit because the video is already too long, but this is pretty much it. This is pretty much everything you need to know if you want to really use the Notes app like a pro. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.